Welcome back to American Agenda. I'm Bob Sellers here with Heather Childers. Our next guest is releasing a new music video for her single called I'm Not Going Anywhere, which she wrote about after her battle with breast cancer. I'm not going anywhere. I'd give my heart to you if your stop beating heart your lips with mine. If you weren't breathing, you And joining us right now, country music singer and songwriter. Kelly Lang. Kelly, welcome. And I got to tell you, it is just a beautiful song. Uh, we've heard it all the way through. And obviously, if we've watched the video and it's wonderful. Uh, so tell us about it. Well, I actually wrote it a few months before I was diagnosed. I had been seeing a friend of mine uh, caring for her husband, and she kept so kindly telling him, honey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. And Lo and behold, a few months after that, I needed someone to tell me the same thing. And I was so blessed to have my husband, who's a country singer. He's been on your shows before. Um, he was there for me the whole way, and he kept telling me, I'm not going anywhere. So it was kind of pre-telling <laughs> yeah. that I wrote it a, a few months before. But, um, you know, I decided to uh, re-release the single coming out tomorrow, actually. You're debuting this for me. Thank you so much. Um, because uh, Ascension Hospitals have taken this song and put it into their national campaign, and I've become uh, getting so many beautiful responses from people that have seen or heard it, especially during such trying times that we're in, uh, it offers them comfort, and it just means the world to me. Kelly, uh, I understand why we play a little bit more of it underneath our interview as we continue. You're a 15-year survivor of breast cancer. Uh, what what uh, words of motivation do you have for other folks who may be going through this? And by the way, happy birthday. I know you're a Capricorn. <laughs> your, your birthday, rather, the same date as mine, was what, January 10th? So happy birthday well, happy to you. Birthday. <laughs> Thank you as well. Um, you know, I just, I used senses of humor. I love to laugh and I made fun of myself. And I just think humor is a really fun part of, uh, of just getting through any trying times. Mm -hmm. And I even came up with a funny character named XOXO during that time to just kind of make light of it if I could. It's a heavy subject, but um I felt like my attitude needed to be positive for my daughters. I had young girls then, uh, nine and 13, Kennedy and Peyton, and uh, I needed them to see a brave warrior instead of a weak little crybaby. <laughs> I didn't look good crying puffy and green anyway, so um, it just worked out to laugh about it. Yeah, now your husband's T.G. Shepard, right? He is? <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not the first. I just yeah. wanted to make sure our viewers knew, like you said, yeah. he's been on Newsmax before. I just wanted to make sure folks were aware of that. Um, I'm sure you had tough times uh, getting through this. Do you have a, a faith that keeps you going? I mean, your sense of humor, obviously, oh. is an important thing. But tell me about that. What Absolutely. gets you through it? Well, TG and I were just dating at the time when I was diagnosed, and um, I felt that a lot of men choose that time to to leave. You know, there was no commitment between us. We had just been dating. And I felt that, um, of course, pr I prayed constantly. I, I, that is the foremost of my, my thoughts. But I really felt that he needed an opportunity to leave if that was something that he wasn't happy about hanging out for. But I remember very, very much so he grabbed me um, one time when I was crying and he wrapped me in this white terry cloth towel and pulled me down on his lap. And he said, honey, I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm staying. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I think it's quite a testimony to people, partners going through such a, a trying time that um, it has been such a blessing for both of us. We've gone through some really dark times. And uh, if you hang in there long enough, you'll see the light. And you know, something I've told a friend of mine before that some people could look at uh, cancer diagnosis as a death sentence, but I chose to look at it as my life sentence. And it allowed me to look at things more appreciatively, and I live way more boldly than I did before. Well, that's just wonderful, Kelly. Thank you so much for sharing that and for sharing the song, for debuting it here. Uh, as you say, it's coming out tomorrow, but I'm not going anywhere. And folks, uh, I'm sure you'll love it. Uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us and telling us about this, Kelly. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you Look Kelly. forward to seeing you again. Okay, bye likewise. Bye. Thank you.
Uh, doesn't it feel a little weird to go to this right yeah. now? <laughs> well, they can go into the Newsmax app. That's what we're going to talk about. A hint there exactly. and find out more about Kelly. Yes, yeah. indeed. You can do that. Uh, take us wherever you go. Uh, you can do it on your smartphone. Uh, it's called Newsmax TV. That's the name of the app. You can download it. Uh, iPhone, Android, and it's free. We've mentioned this before. Uh, if you want to go to some of the other networks, you probably have to go through a subscription of some kind, but not the case here. Yes, and we promise it's very easy to do. Millions of people have already done it, so join them. Maybe in this commercial break that's coming up, less than a minute to download. Uh, from your app store on your iPhone or your Android, download Newsmax TV. And it is uh, one of the most downloaded free apps because it's great, and we know that you'll like it too. That's right. <laughs> well, coming up, California's COVID uh, contradictions. California winery owner John Jordan joining us to discuss how California Governor Gavin Newsom is suddenly lifting the state's oppressive lockdowns using that so-called secret data that only he knows. Well, apparently they've now released at least some of that data, and that is leaving millions, though, still guessing what's going to happen next. More of American Agenda after this.